Jennifer from Craft Forest. Today we are going to find some uses for all those bottle caps that you have uh, sitting at home not doing anything with. So we're going to do bottle caps two ways today. We're going to make magnets and we're also going to make pins. Really, really simple. You need just a few things. Um, you need bottle caps, any kind, any size, and I found some larger ones that are kind of cool so you might see if you can get your hands on those because they turn out really well. You need pins. These are the pins that you can get right at the craft store. Um, a container of these comes with about 20, and you can get them for about $3. And then I also use the stick-on magnets. You can just pull off the backing and that turns it into a magnet. And then what we're using to seal it today is one of my new favorite products. It's not new, but it's new to me, and I'm pretty excited about it. This is Dimensional Magic from Mod Podge. It's really, really, really cool. It's different than regular Mod Podge that it doesn't have kind of that cloudy finish. It has a really kind of crystal clear, almost glass-like finish, so it works really, really well to um, kind of finish these off, and it's waterproof, so you can make a really long-lasting product. So we're gonna use that, and then we're also gonna use a couple of different adhesives. If we're working with paper or fabric in the bottle caps to actually adhere them on the inside, we'll use just regular school glue, regular glue. You can use a glue gun. And then when we attach the metal pieces, we're going to use some E600 or E6000, sorry. I lost uh, some points there for them. E6000 and or a glue gun, whichever you have. So we're going to use that. And then we need some scissors and some fabric. And you can use paper for this too, but we're going to use scrap fabric today because I uh, have lots and lots of really cool scrap fabric that I don't know what to do with, so I thought I would turn it into something that I could look at all the time. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna choose this larger bottle cap, and I'm gonna grab some fabric over here. It's kind of my favorite part, is picking which fabric you wanna use. Um, you can waste, I mean spend, hours and hours and hours of time uh, sorting through and figuring out what you want. But I'm gonna choose this one. It's kind of a little hexagon sort of quilted piece, and I'm just gonna grab a pencil, and you can trace on the back side and just grab your bottle cap just to make sure that it works. And I'm kind of going to go just right here in the middle. And I'm going to trace around. And sometimes I feel really bad to trace like in the middle of the fabric. I try to find something that's cute on the corner because I feel guilty, but this one's pretty cute in the middle, so we're just going to go for it and cut it. All right, so we're just going to cut around in our circle. And maybe I can cut on the lines. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so we sort of have a circle square, circle shape there. And we're gonna use just some regular uh, school glue and put a little bit in the bottom of the bottle cap. And then just press your fabric in. And if it's a little large, you can actually just press it along the edges. And it actually looks kind of cool when you press it along the edges. Um, because it looks like it gives it a little bit of extra dimension. So I'm going to let that dry for just a sec. And then what we're going to do is use the Dimensional Magic. And this comes out pretty quick. And you want to make sure that you are avoiding getting any bubbles. Sometimes I'll do just kind of a quick little start just to get the bubbles out. And then I go along the edge of the bottle cap, kind of make a rim. So I'm just putting kind of a light layer there, and then I go and fill it in. And I kind of do it like I'm coloring, just kind of little tiny circles, moving it around, making sure that we're covering all the fabric. And that is it. So this will dry clear, so you can actually see the fabric throughout. And then sometimes it can bubble, and if you do get a bubble, just use like a straight pin, and you can kind of poke it through. So we've got a small one here, so we'll just move that and kind of poke that bubble out. And then you want to set those to the side, and these will need to dry for um, typically like three to four hours, but if you want to just let them go overnight, it works really, really well. So we're going to let that one dry over here, and then um, let's go ahead and make a second one, because we'll make a pin and we'll make a magnet. So let's grab, for the smaller battle cap, we'll grab this fabric here. Same thing, I'm just going to flip it over, and I'm working with this one right on the selvage, so you can use any fabric you have, it doesn't matter. Whatever you can get a little circle out of to get the right size. So I'm just going to trace around that. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, no big deal. And cut it out. There we go. Okay, so not exactly a circle, but again, it doesn't matter. So we're going to grab our glue again and put a little bit of glue in the bottom of the bottle cap here. 
and then stick your fabric and just kind of press it in. Make sure you get it kind of stretched to the sides there. Press it in, hold it down for just a sec. Okay. And then we'll grab the Dimensional Magic again. And we're just gonna start slow and kind of put a little outline here. And kind of make sure that you get it in all those little corners. I have a few that I'll show you that if you don't get the fabric or, pa or paper placed down flat, the Dimensional Magic will actually seep underneath it and get um, kind of cause a little bit of trouble for you. So you wanna make sure that you get that nice and flat. And then you can kind of tilt this and move it around too just to make sure that you've got all the spots covered. So we'll set that over to the side and we'll let those dry. And then let me show you a few that are finished so you can get a feel for what those look like. So this one here, this is a, a piece of fabric, just a little piece of scrap fabric with the Dimensional Magic. And I did two coats on this one, a really thin first coat. And then I found that it was a little too shallow. I wanted it to be a little more flush with the edge of the bottle cap. So I did just a second coat after it was dry. So let's take this one and let's go ahead and turn this into a lapel pin. And so we're gonna grab the jewelry pin here. Again, you can get these at the craft store really anywhere. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the adhesive, so the E6000. Just a tiny little dot on the back is all you need. And I'm going to put the back of the pin here, hold it down, and then you can put the back on, let that dry, and you're set. So really, you have a brand new piece of jewelry in about five minutes. So, so, so easy. And then for the magnets over here, these guys are really simple. All we're doing is taking a an adhesive magnet and just sticking it to the back. We left these without a little bit of glue so that you could see how easy it is to put them on and off. So there's adhesive here, but I recommend that you do a little bit of glue just to make sure it stays on. So again, we, we made sure that it was easy to take on and off so we can show you guys, but then you'll wanna add just a little bit of glue to make sure it stays. Press it down, let these dry, follow the directions on your glue, and you're set. So these are really, really simple to make. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on reusing your old bottle caps from Craft Forest. Thanks, guys.